Charles has contracted COVID-19 for the second time and has been forced to cancel his royal engagements to self-isolate. On Thursday afternoon, Clarence House released a statement on Twitter to confirm that he had contracted the virus for a second time, accordingly to which the heir to the throne was forced to cancel his appearances at a number of events in Winchester as he is self-isolating. Charles is said to be deeply disappointed to miss out on the highly anticipated visit. However, Clarence House also noted that his appearance in Winchester will be rescheduled. The tweet read, This morning the Prince of Wales has tested positive for COVID-19 and is now self-isolating. HRH is deeply disappointed not to be able to attend today's event in Winchester and will look to reschedule his visit as soon as possible. Charles met his mother, Queen Elizabeth, on Tuesday, just two days before he tested positive for COVID-19, the Daily Mail reported. The Queen 95 is not showing any symptoms, sources have said, but the situation is being monitored. Aides said the Prince was found to be positive during a test taken as routine before any public engagements, which suggested he was experiencing no strong symptoms, but they declined to go into further details on his medical condition. Both he and the Duchess of Cornwall have been taking regular tests before engagements and Clarence House said Camilla had a negative test on Thursday. Under current COVID rules, although she lives with Charles, Camilla is not required to self-isolate as she is also fully vaccinated. A spokesman added, the Duchess of Cornwall has routinely tested negative today. She is on a separate series of engagements from the Prince of Wales. While in the past, COVID rules would have dictated that all those who have come into contact with the prince must self-isolate, it is no longer a requirement. Prince Charles' latest positive test comes after he attended a black tie event held by the British Asian Trust at the British Museum on Wednesday night. He gave a speech at the event to around 350 guests, which included Chancellor Rishi Sunak, Home Secretary Priti Patel and Health Secretary Sajid Javid. The 73-year-old previously tested positive for COVID at the beginning of the pandemic in March 2020. He spent his seven days of quarantine at his Burkhall home on the Royal Balmoral Estate in Scotland. He later told broadcasters that he got away with it quite lightly and only experienced mild symptoms. Speaking to the press at the time about his first positive COVID case, he said, I was lucky in my case, but I've had it and I can so understand what other people have gone through. He added, I feel particularly for those who have lost their loved ones and have been unable to be with them at the time. That, to me, is the most ghastly thing. On Thursday, Charles was due to unveil a statue of Licoricia of Winchester, a medieval Jewish businesswoman. The life-size bronze statue by sculptor Ian Rank Broadley shows Licoricia with her younger son holding her hand. It will stand in Jury Street, where Licoricia was known to have lived. After the unveiling, Prince Charles was also due to meet with members of the Jewish community and schoolchildren. He was also expected to attend a civic reception at the Great Hall in Castle Avenue. Hampshire County Council had previously warned drivers of planned road closures in anticipation of Charles's visit on Thursday. The statue was unveiled on his behalf instead.